Hello there and welcome. I'm Matthew Msangati, the designer and developer. This is my YouTube channel, Coded Design, where I teach coding and user interface design. In this video, I'm hoping to teach you or tell you that all graphic design programs, they are essentially the same. What you will see on Photoshop is the same as what you will see in Illustrator and what you will see in CorelDRAW and what you will see on Figma. Okay, so this is my first time with Figma. I have been very uh, resistant with using Figma because Figma was introduced to me as a web uh, application. Obviously, as a traditional designer, I'm not used to that. I'm used to graphic design application as like PC based or um, windows based application or mac or whatever but i'm used to graphic design application running on a computer not on a website so i took some time to get into figma so this is my first time uh, using figma let's just get into it first of all what i want to look at is the tool all graphic design tools are essentially the same they might look a little bit different in this application or uh, a little bit tweaked in another application but they are essentially the same for instance let's get into it a pen tool it's a pen tool on coral draw pen tool on photoshop pen tool on figma and a pen tool on illustrator so let's quickly test that so this is a pen tool what a pen tool does it allows you to draw custom shapes it allows you to draw custom shape as you can see i've been drawing a straight line if you want to draw a curve you just click and then drag then from then if you want to close a shape you just go to your first node and then you click there and then your shape is closed this is the same on this graphic design application and also it's the same on other application so let's just quickly click here if we want to modify our tools we can use uh, this pointer here to modify our tools this pointer looks uh, like this um, on i think photoshop and illustrator they have got it exactly like this so you can modify these uh, tools um, what else um, i'm thinking uh, this has got something to do with curves when you want to make a curve for instance in, in coral draw it works like this you select this node you want to change it from being uh, some sort of a corner to a curve like this one so let's test if that is the case uh, not really okay um, okay let's see how it works here okay if you if you want to to learn a new program obviously you can go and read the manual or what you can do whenever you click a tool in an application the properties uh, of uh, that are displayed they change according to the tool so that is what i've been using also to learn a graphic design application so for instance let's just click here on a pencil and look here that these properties have changed now let's select a pen and see uh, they didn't change that much let's select another tool let's say selecting a text to okay let me check again okay da -da -da. as you can see that um, the pencil and the pen tool they've got different properties this is uh, these are the properties for the pen tool and these are the properties for the pencil so now let's go to okay where is that curve thing now i don't know where it, it it went obviously it's my first time with figma so i don't know how things uh, work here i'm just uh, trying it out but the most important thing is that all graphic design software are the same however now let's just quickly switch to something uh, interesting that i've noticed with figma i've got figma here as a desktop application but also i've got my figma open as a web application so when when i was opening this tab i just noticed uh, that whenever whatever that you do here it also happens here 
that is very very interesting and uh, amazing but um, let's just switch to the desktop version and continue okay now let's click on the text let's click on the test and test okay this is a text tool uh, this text tool uh, also it's like this on Corel Draw and it also like this on Illustrator and all other graphic design applications so a text tool will always be a text tool so what else I think this one is a tool for moving the whole um, I can say artboard or working area um, I don't think this is like this on Corel Draw I think this uh, is familiar with the Adobe uh, kind of a style which is your illustrator and your Photoshop particularly I know this from your illustrator where you can shift the whole area or as a illustrator call it an, an artboard okay what else can we check here uh, this one I don't know what is it it looks like a grid uh, I don't know uh, what is it this one okay let's uh, uh, let's just try uh, basic shapes don't know how to delete okay press delete okay okay so let's just try basic shape in most graphic design uh, application this uh, basic shape tool is always like this and also it's uh, it, it, it the symbol for it is always a four corner shape this is this square so let's click on it and then let's say we are making a menu bar okay how do I fill in uh, the shape okay let me click on it okay as I can see that this gray matches here okay and something okay this is what I want let's say I'm creating an application bar and then I can have a text home services and contact okay just one two three put some triple space here and that is it okay now the the, the next machine will be how do I change the color to white I think it's also so as you as you can see that um, graphic design application they are essentially the same so to me uh, Figma the experience feels more like the the Adobe kind of a style more especially Adobe XD Adobe XD and also get somewhat Adobe Illustrator uh, to me that's how the experience it's it's like that because I know most of these things um, from Adobe so let's check the color here okay we have changed it to white uh, what about the font the font let's check somewhere here 14 okay as you can see now our navigation bar is starting to look like uh, it's it's real okay uh, let's check also something else on the standard shape okay this is how you draw a circle let's say how can we draw a perfect circle as you can see that this circle is not perfect so in most graphic design software you press shift so that you can draw a perfect circle so also here that's what uh, happens when you want to draw a perfect circle obviously a line is a line and an arrow it's an arrow okay what I'm trying to do here I'm not trying to say Figma is ain't different from like Corel Draw and Illustrator and also it's the same it's 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 weak Figma it's it's a very powerful software and, and I'm also uh, uh, thinking that I should have uh, studied with it long time ago not uh, now so um, that is it for me Matthew Singati. I hope uh, you can see that if you can learn one graphic design application you can take those skills to another one it's not like it will feel like it has been a waste of time
the changes are very very minor it's not main, main, major changes so if you can learn this application obviously you can then um, be easily understand uh, the other one otherwise for me matthew shazom singati if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you want me to or you want to join my journey as i'm learning figma you can shoot a comment below and let me know otherwise thank you so much